There were 16 ayat in Al Quran Al Kareem that mentioned the hour and asserted that no one knows when the hour will strike. Now Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that there are minor signs and there are major signs. The concern of this presentation is about some of the major signs of the approach of the hour. And one of them is that the sun will appear from the west instead of the east. The sun will appear from the west instead of the east. And the hadith related through the authority of Hudayf ibn al-Yaman from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about this is very clear. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that when the hour approaches, two nights will join each other and the people will wake up from the first night to see that the night is not over yet. And they will be terrified and they will be scared and they will find that the sun did not come out. And another night came and then two nights will appear in a row. And then after that, the sun will appear again but this time it will come from the west instead of the east. Again, I remind myself and I remind my sisters and brothers that whatever I will mention from science that people really put as, as, as the, the absolute truth when we know it is not, but what we know from science is the following. What is happening is that the earth has been rotating around its axis since the creation of the universe in the beginning our earth used to complete one complete circle around its axis in four hours it used to be very fast and it has been slowing down since then now it completes one rotation around its axis in 23 hours 56 minutes and four seconds and scientists know that the speed is going to diminish. The earth is going to slow down up to a point where it will not be able to support any more decrease in its speed. When that will happen, the earth will behave like a spring that you rotate in a certain direction up to a certain point when you cannot really wind it any further in that direction, then if you leave it, what will happen? It will start to rotate in the opposite direction. And the earth is going to do that. That's what scientists tell us, that the earth is going to slow 
and slow and slow up to a point where it cannot because of its mass slow any further then it will stop briefly and will start to rotate in a clockwise fashion and guess what will happen when that takes place and guess what will happen when that takes place and guess what will happen when that takes place the sun will appear from the west it will take place on a friday as the prophet muhammad sallallahu had said the best day on which the sun has risen is friday on it adam was created on it he was put in paradise on it he was removed from paradise and the day of judgment will occur only on it all of the righteous are removed the prophet Muhammad had said a wind would come and take the souls of all the righteous human beings remaining on the earth and the Qur'ans would become blank and only those who were the most wretched would remain living on the earth and at this point when the name Allah is no longer mentioned the day of resurrection will begin and it begins with the blowing of a horn or trumpet that's the first thing after all this after all the major signs have occurred the blowing of the trumpet will occur the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that allah azza wa jal had created an angel his name is israfil he's the angel that assigned for the day of judgment where allah azza wa jal had put a trumpet in his mouth this trumpet is like a horn the prophet sallallahu described the trumpet as a horn it's in the mouth of israfil it's narrated that the, the circle of the trumpet is as big as this whole world. The circle of the horn is as big as this whole world. And the horn is probably 2% of the size of the angel. So imagine how big the angel is. He created him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How did Allah create him? by two letters KUN FAYAKUN D and it was where does the angel stand? he's standing in a place where Allah wants him to stand in he's in a position no one knows but Allah Azza wa Jal described by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the angel Israfil is carrying the trumpet in his hands in his mouth just staring at the throne of Allah, waiting for the order of Allah Azza wa Jal to come down, where Allah orders him to say, blow the trumpet and slam this whole world is. So where's Israfin now? He's standing. In what position is he standing in? He's got the trumpet in his mouth. What is he doing? Staring at the throne of Allah, waiting for what? Waiting for the order of Allah Azza wa Jal. Just ready. It's like a baran. And this whole world will end. The Prophet has further told us that from that day, the angel Israfil has never bowed down. He has never blinked. Fearing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may order him to blow into that horn before he's able to raise his head or before he is able to complete his blink. Therefore, his eyes are fixed upon the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala waiting for the command to blow. The narration is mentioned that he's scared to even blink his eyelids. Why? Fearing that the command might come and he misses it. On that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, O Israfil, blow into the horn. The hadith of Abu Hurairah continues by saying, the angel Israfil will blow into the horn and continue to blow in it, and he will not get time or require any rest. The sound from the horn will be so terrifying that all those in the heavens and earth will be traumatized upon its sound except for those whom he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wishes to be spared from that terror. It has been reported in an explanation of this that when that sound comes, the people from whatever situation they're in will be paralyzed. As if 50,000 volts of electricity had been hit in their heads. They 
will be paralyzed. And from that point, everything will cease, which they used to call reality. Everything will cease, which they used to call reality. Everything will cease, which they used to call reality.